Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you would like to get a personal reading, uh, there's a link in the description box. I still have a special running for September. Uh, discounted special reading. Happy birthday if today is your birthday, September 19th, uh, wait, 18th and 19th. And yeah. All right, so this is a channel for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Keep in mind, these are general readings. They are for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so let's start your reading off and see what's going on. You've got gossip. You have the Ice King. You have dark male or someone who is darker than lighter. And you have twin flame. Okay, so, hmm, so it looks like you've got a situation here where there may be some gossip, water cooler talk at your work or in your family or amongst other people. There's some people who are maybe some neighbors, there's some small talk, people either gossiping about you or you are gossiping about some other people, there's some secrets going around. Um, I feel like it's probably about you, <laughs> you, your name, if your ears are ringing. There's some people talking about you or someone is talking about you. Maybe asking questions or trying to get some information on you. Or just a lot of chit chatter going on. So, yeah, something's definitely going on here. If you've had these ringing things going on in your ear or your ears, you're definitely the talk of the town. You also have... Um, Ice King. So this can represent a boss. This can represent an entrepreneur or someone who is just very detached. So this energy is definitely showing up this week as well. Or I keep saying this week, this month. Ice King can represent an air sign. So uh, someone possibly you're connecting with this month or you have a connection with. Um, this person's like cold. There is... <laughs> It doesn't have to be an air sign, but it's just cold energy. It's someone, or they could be just very professional, very still. They got that whole gray rock thing going on. There's a lack of emotion, not saying anything. They're not really communicating. They're just kind of keeping to themselves, keeping it strictly business, okay? Hold on, trying to fix my microphone. You also have um, dark mail. Um, so also this ice king could be you as well. You could be taking on the energy here where it's like just detaching yourself, focusing on work, being in boss mode, and just not showing any emotion, just doing your thing, okay? Um, also dark male, so that could be you, or it could be another person who would be significant in your life this month. Could be someone that you meet, or it could be a friend, or someone who you are currently attracted to, or um, currently dating. You've also got twin flame, Virgo, so spiritual alignment, effortless type of a relationship, or a karmic. So there is some energy playing out here. So let's take a look first, see what's going on with this gossip situation here in September. What is going on with this gossip? Who is talking about Virgo? What is being said? Whatever comes up first here. What is being said about Virgo? Okay. Oh. Huh. Somebody doesn't think that you have the courage to do something or that you will. These people or someone is talking and saying, or they're talking about you pick, packing up your bags and leaving or that you're going somewhere. You're just like. I kind of feel like it's um, something about you moving or relocating or leaving somewhere. Wow, that's so weird because I was initially feeling the Eight of Swords. There's this energy where I feel like there's some people or someone kind of like saying you're making a wrong decision. You're, you're leaving, you're running away, you're doing this out of insecurity or something along those lines. Or someone's uh, like not dealing. I feel like these people, they need to shut the F up. It's none of their damn business what you're doing, Virgo. <laughs> it's all sword energy. 
So it's all about communication, talking some ish, talking about you. Um, I don't like the energy of the Eight of Swords. It's kind of like making accusations that, like these people are saying, you know, why is Virgo doing this? Virgo doesn't have to do this. Virgo's not trapped, you know? Or they're saying Virgo is, if Virgo's not trapped, Virgo can, like, I just, whatever. You know what, what people say, let them talk. Give them something to talk about, Virgo. <laughs> I just kind of feel like there's this just gossip. Maybe it's with sis some sisters or family members. Um, and they're just kind of like, I just feel like a whole bunch of Betsy's sitting around the table. Like they got, you know, no stains on their white shirts. They're just perfect. Talking about what you're doing, where you're going, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. You know who you're going with whether or not you should i don't you know what yeah this has something to do with traveling or abandoning ship or leaving something or you know making your own path going on your own journey for whatever reason you're deciding to do that this month and you know we're at the end pretty much close to the end of september so going into october you know or if you're going traveling as well or you're doing whatever you're doing you're leaving you're definitely whether that's mentally physically emotionally spiritually you're leaving something and there's some talk you're you're attracting attention and I almost kind of feel like you're on your own journey here you're following the light and I don't know if these people don't expect you to do this or they're just questioning why you haven't done it yet or even if they're just talking positive energy about you it just i don't whatever you're doing is catching attention of people this month you know let them talk give them a movie you're doing something if you're on social media if you're posting stuff if you're you know posting stories or you know whatever it is these there's people watching and they're talking about you a, per, a people or one person talking to another person you know about what you're look at those two aces wow maybe you're like leaving you're going to find love you know you're on a new adventure you're doing something new here you're striking out on your own for sure and I don't, you know, I don't know if it's jealousy or it's a risk, though. There's some kind of risk that you're taking. So, you know what? Today, as I'm recording this, it's September 18th. So all the way into like October 18th or just the rest of October, you, there's some kind of risk or something's happening. That's something new and a new opportunity, a couple new opportunities come in and it looks like you just decide to do it. You're sick and tired of being stuck and you make a decision to do it and everybody's like, oh, what's Virgo doing? You're putting on a show, Virgo. <laughs> Maybe you find, some of you might find a new love or have a new love beginning. Um, it's full of passion and romance and, and blessings and there could be a pregnancy you know, for some, or you're starting a new kind of project in your life and it's carrying you away. Doesn't necessarily have to be negative, you know, but gossip, uh, I don't know. It, for some of you, this could be a little bit of a blessing too with something great is going on in October as well. And you're like the talk of the town. Maybe you're starting a new project or something. Going into October, you tell some people about it. And the word spreads like wildfire. You know, it just gets out there. Okay. So you also have uh, Ice King. So some of you, like I said, this could be you. You might be getting into like entrepreneurial work. Or you're doing something. And, you know, we're going to get to the Twin Flames. So... Don't just wait till the end here. But Ice King, let's take a look and see what's going on with this. Some of you might be um, starting a romance with your boss and everybody's at work talking about it. Or they find out or they're asking, like, <laughs> they're like, what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> wait, they're, or they're speculating. Yeah, speculating. Okay, so you've got, oh, long-term security. So some of you are like bossing up and 
starting your own businesses or you're doing something new okay yeah look at this you have three aces so far so i have to tell you <laughs> from this time period i guess we're out of the mercury retrograde are we i think we no wait that started august 23rd are we out of it i think we are i don't know i can't remember i never looked i didn't look to see how long it went i think it's over anyway You've got three aces, so there's definitely new love beginnings, new projects, passion projects, new investments, new opportunities in work, career, but being your own boss or a boss hiring you, um, promoting you at your job, too. There's that energy happening here. You get offers for like a loan or for some kind of startup of something that you're trying to uh thinking about you know where are you going to get funding for something a new startup there's also um somebody has a surprise gift for you um as well so if you have a birthday a virgo season birthday before the season's over you might receive a gift from a boss um or a surprise gift from someone who's pretty damn cold so it's like what unexpected you know um coming from like someone who doesn't generally show their emotions. Okay, so you also have the moon. All right, so we do have Pisces energy and we have Libra here as well. So, um, hmm. you know, if you are, if you're, if you're doing, if there's something, I feel like, um, there's doubt. They just keep giving me like this. There's this hidden surprise. Oh, some of you are going to receive. Or, um... <laughs> All right. So they're saying if, if you got a thing for your boss or you're dating your boss, this is specific. Um, it's coming out because your boss is going to let it be known. And it might be attached to some of this gossip stuff going on. Now, I know it's not for everybody. But if you have a thing for your boss boss, and like your boss doesn't know it, they're going to find out and is going to approach you in a very positive way. <laughs> you know, like I feel like your boss, it's going to surprise you. I, I have to say that. I have to say that. It's, 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 it's unexpected. It may not be like a shock. It's not a tower kind of thing. But it. I feel like you're, <laughs> they're just saying, I feel like you're, your employer your boss has had like a little hidden thing. They've been kind of detached and kind of hiding it. Like you never would have guessed. Maybe some of you kind of are like, you think maybe you, that they did, but they do. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Now, some of you might work in the legal system um, or maybe, um, yeah, legal, the justice system, legal system, lawyers, judges, paralegals, um, police all that kind of stuff rescue that kind of anything attached to the legal so courts things like that uh, <laughs> I'm really picking up strong lawyer vibes here it may not be your boss could be a lawyer that's kind of like if you have a lawyer <laughs> kind of your boss i mean you're their boss because you're paying them but they're telling you how it's going to happen in the courtroom so they're kind of directing the show that kind of energy i don't know somebody got a thing for a lawyer or a judge um okay so there's it's definitely hidden though and i feel like it's going to come out the truth is going to come out and this is something that i see that could you know whether this is a new opportunity for a career um, are you becoming a boss or even uh, you, uh, your boss and you getting together? Or if you're a boss getting together with an employee, I'm seeing a long-term kind of thing turning out here. So, yeah, I know it's not for everybody, but, you know, when it comes out, it's what comes out. Okay, so you've got dark male. So someone who has darker than lighter skin possibly or darker dark hair darker than lighter hair okay all right so this is someone whom you've had a previous connection with who has come back around coming around the corner okay 
Could be a Leo. Now, they could have dark hair, darker skin, or darker color skin than you. They could just be like super tan. Um, they could have um, darker, like darker, more darker color than you. Okay. Um, there's definitely a return and it's, it's a very positive, they got good vibes are coming in with like those Marky Mark vibes, you know, good vibrations there. So let's see what's going on here. Hmm. All right. Some of you, some of you, this isn't someone you knew. Some of you are going to meet this person at, um, a school where there's children obviously like not well it could be it school children a school it could be a college or it could be a high school or a university a, a elementary school um grade school whichever um and there this very like <laughs> this is a very uh it doesn't have to be your kids you could work for a school or you could just be there for some reason um could be grandkids. You could just be there for some reason. You could be just attending school. Or have an affiliation. You could work for a company that works for a school. And there's a connection there. But this is a very, I just want to say, whether this is someone returning or someone new that you meet, the, the devil is here. So this is a very obsessive or can be a very obsessive connection or it is it, we got capricorn here too it, it's 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 the physical attraction it's fire it's total fire okay this could be one of those i'm just feeling like very tempting highly temptatious is that a word did i just make highly flirt flirtates off the chart highly temptation temp temptations everywhere real strong positive vibes with this person okay and i, I have to say this feels a little bit forbidden <laughs> it's like oh damn somebody is coming back around or you're connecting with someone who there's an energy where it's like, I want to, I want to, I want to, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I want to, I want to, I want to, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> they show up in the light and then all this darkness appears, you know. I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like when the devil is there, you know, it, it's not necessarily it's very sexual it's very lustful kind of thing and you got to be built for that kind of thing <laughs> you know I, I don't know you might know what i'm talking about but i i feel like a real strong like oh geez now it we're going into cuffing season so some of you are gonna have a return of some people you know making the rounds so this could be your story, like, ah, oh, you know, the temptation is there, but some of you I know are not trying to, you know, retrace your steps, so to speak. Okay, but for others, um, it may not also, it may not be a school also, there could have, uh, this could, okay, they just said, either, it's, it, uh, they're telling me a new hire also, someone who's a new hire, so either you hire this person, a new hire, or they're a new hire at where you work, or you hire them to like get your pool ready or closed or do something around the house. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know, or maybe they come in and clean and they're in like little maid outfit i don't like i don't know i just i just feel like you better watch out for this energy that's all i'm saying okay they're also saying uh they're giving me a halloween party at a school and someone's dressed up as a devil okay 
There's trick-or-treating. I'm hearing trick-or-treating. Now, remember, we're going into October here. So I'm picking up, like, trick-or-treating during the day. Like, right after school. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are trick-or-treating. Some of you might be. Or going with, like, taking going with your kids or your kids' kids. Um, or you're going to maybe a Halloween party. You might not even know about this yet. So I'm way far in advance here. But there is definitely, and I feel like this person is like your junior. I feel like they're a lot younger. And there's this drip, drip, honey dip stuff going on. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, let's get off of that, okay? Great choice of words. No pun intended. Twin flame, what's going on here? All right, four of cups. Knight of Swords. Oh boy. You intuitively know, Virgo, that you're twin flame and you are meant to be together and that they're this person's coming in and they are. I feel like you've been feeling this energy. For some it could be a Cancer or a Pisces, another Virgo. Um <laughs> could be a Gemini. So let me just tell you. Whatever sign, whoever your twin flame is, um, what this person has rejected in the past or rejected before, surprise, they're making a change, making a lifestyle change here, big time, and they're coming in fast. And I feel like you have known that you're a twin flame, and you, it was a, it was a timing thing. Like you kind of already, you've like already known that you two were, what's the word I'm looking for? I can never pull words. I don't know what it is. I, I guess I'm getting some early dementia. Like I'll pair. Is that it? I don't know. Like when you pair your Bluetooth, I don't know what else going on with me, but there's a French word and I can't think of it, but you two, like you've known, that's what the two of cups is. There's this meeting in the minds and it was, it's been a timing thing this whole time and it, I feel like it was mostly on like it looks like on their part you know but I feel like they I don't know if this person knew there was a twin flame connection they might not have used those words but it was karmic before I don't know something's going on here like you guys get into some kind of spiritual uh, alignment and something becomes effortless now this this connection this relationship they're telling me Leo there's something that becomes effortless. So let me just get a couple more cards for the twin flame. Decision, compromise. Ooh, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Yeah. Yeah. This King of Swords. Maybe it's your boss. <laughs> Or you call your twin flame boss. Yes, boss. Um, so yeah, this king of swords is like ready to make that compromise. I feel like with the four of cups back there, I feel like this person, I don't know. They're disinterested in other people. I don't feel like they realized. Now they now they know. And I don't feel like it's just a decision that that they've come to. I feel like this has just been some kind of intuitive understanding like you have but i feel like you kind of beat them to the chase as far as already knowing that this was a twin twin connection i get a couple more messages because i really like i really like this format there's a lot of different messages coming in so yeah your twin flame is definitely going to be rearing up in this time until October. And you also have open relationship. What's going on there? Okay. Push this aside. Let's see. Spiritual growth. You've got a soulmate. And long distance. Okay. All right. Tell Virgo. Open relationship represents no commitment. Casual re relationship. And openness, okay. 
what's going on here with this for Virgo? Why is open? So some of you might have been in a casual relationship or you've been seeking to try to find out what kind of relationship you've been in. Okay, yeah. Um, or someone just wants to be in a casual relationship. They just want to sleep. We might like you better if we slept together. I might like you better if we slept together. <laughs> I mean, with these songs, I don't even know where they come from. I feel like I have like a spiritual messenger who is definitely retro, 80s retro. I might like you better if we slept together. Do you remember that song? Oh my gosh. So, okay. Some of you had that thing going on for a long time and you're done with it. Okay, it's stress, stressful. Yep, pushing back on it. Or you were with someone who kept the relationship casual and um, or you connect with someone that you find out going forward that it looks like this person just wants a casual relationship. They, they relieve their anxiety by having, uh, by sleeping in bed or sleeping around. They push back on opening up. They, they keep, they push back on, on anyone getting close. Okay. And huh, they come, yeah, this is a, this is a charmer. This is someone. So if you are in or find yourself connecting with someone, or if you were, okay, if you've dealt with a casual relationship with someone where it's open, no commitment, um, this person has kept that relationship or will keep that relationship that way. Um, they get their rest and relax. They calm their nerves. They de-stress. by keeping it non-committal it's done on purpose and if you try to get close they're going to push away and then when you go away they try to romance and charm you to bring you back because they want to keep you where you are right but i kind of get a sense like like i said right away with the four of swords it's too stressful for you and for some of you you're pushing back on that so you can let real love come in now there are some of you also i don't know what percentage of you that are okay with this because it does give you a sense of being able to connect with someone some of you are not in a place in your life where you want to commit to somebody right now you some of you really enjoy just the casual love affair and that's fine you can have that if that's where you are um, some of you might connect with someone and you know going forward and just decide you know what I like spending time with this person and you you know you like the intimacy you have other responsibilities maybe you take care of a parent or your job is just you have no free time and you prefer um romance and date nights but you don't want to live with anyone you don't want to commit you know and understand when i tell you that i have a lot of different age groups on here and that sometimes does come with age older people you know, some older people are like, already been there, been married, had kids, did the whole thing. Nope, just want someone to go to the movies with and go on a cruise with and see each other once in a while. Don't want, I'm not picking up after nobody. D kids are all grown up and gone. And, you know, everybody's got their thing. And, and then you got younger crowds who are, you know, they, they want to settle down and start a family. And that's fine. So don't, don't mock. Wherever you are in your stage, that's where you are. So I definitely feel like, that's a double message for some of you. Now you've got spiritual growth, right? Learning, expanding the soul. So, wow, Virgo, pretty cool. Looks like some definite, 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 definite change happening here. Look at you, Virgo. You got some plans. Okay. You got the Queen of Swords here. Virgo, you are speaking some truth. You know what, Virgo? I feel like for you, you've been talking to God. 
And you're, you're not just talking to him. You're like, where the hell are you? I've been over here waiting for my blessing. I mean, you're making demands. <laughs> Where's my spiritual growth? <laughs> you're talking to universe. God, whoever. Whoever. You're making demands. You're like, come on now. I've been doing the work. <laughs> Virgo, you're getting a little bossy. Maybe a little sword there. You're like asking questions. Like, what the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? I've been saging. I've been putting my crystals on the windowsill. You know, I've been praying. I've been letting go. I'm doing my affirmations. I'm breathing. I'm doing everything. What the hell's going on? Where's mine? <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this. I'm still out here trying. I have to go to the soup kitchen this weekend because I can't eat. When's my blessing coming in? <laughs> It's coming, Virgo. Just be patient. It's real slow. You know what? It's God's time. Universal time. It's fluid. It's coming. You just got to keep your faith. You can't give up. <laughs> you can't give up. Your hard times will pay off. They will. You just got to believe. You can put demands out there but nobody's gonna listen the universe is gonna be like who are you talking to <laughs> and you know what it's okay they're all right like that's fine vent if you need to vent you're human be human it's part of your spiritual growth but it's on its way your blessings are coming so don't give up all right now you've got soulmate what's this about Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. Ooh, the lovers. Some of you are going into a contract with someone. You've been struggling, Virgo. Somebody's coming in to take some, some of the burden. And this is someone who is equal to you, like on a real deep level. It could even be love. Okay, you've been carrying, been carrying around that anger. It's going to eat you up inside, baby. You've got to struggle, Virgo. These burdens that you've been carrying. Somebody's coming in and they're just going to, they're not going to carry, they're not going to carry it all, but they're going to take a little bit of weight off your shoulder. This is a soulmate. This soulmate card, great connection, relationship. Now that could be a friend. It could be a lover. But somebody's, you know what? This person's coming in. And they're going to help you tear that house down and help you rebuild something brand new. Because after the tower, every time, there's change. After all this unwanted disgrace that you've been dealing with, these upheavals in your life, you've been carrying this thing around for so long, you've got like your other half, the lovers. we got Scorpio. We have Gemini here. You've got somebody coming in. And so when I say soulmate, this is someone who like gets down on your level. They they are walking. They're not someone who has walked the same path as you as much as they are currently walking the same path as you. And you say, well, you know, if they're walking and they have the same burdens, how are they going to, how do they have space to, carry some of my burden because that's this kind that's the kind of person this person is because of the lovers there's that's love that's deep coal burning the strength of two to overcome hardship you know you scratch my back and later i'll scratch yours this is like a pay it forward kind of situation and i feel like this this is what this person does they're like like an angel it's almost like a soulmate angel like you're both angels in each other's lives. It's crazy because I was just looking at this. These, what the hell is this? They almost look like headlights, but I don't know. They kind of look like two ghostly angels. So whatever this destruction is or whatever, like you're trying to rebuild something, you know, maybe you had like a, a weather event or something came through your town or something happened and, you know, you're having to do something. Just, just like this you know, this lover's thing, there's this contract, this this doesn't have to be a just a person. It could be a place as well, a community, 
of like-minded people who are all, you know, stronger for each other, helping each other, building each other back up. I mean, I love it. <clears throat> this is rebuilding after, you know, that big lightning strike, that tower moment. This could, this is like a great connection and it could be building of a friendship, but it's like the kind of soulmate deep friendship that lasts forever. It's the kind that because you guys go through some kind of significant struggle together, it's that struggle that you have that bond in common that 20 years could go by and you don't talk to each other and then you pick up the phone and you just pick right back up where you left off. You know, it's that kind of thing. So that's, I find personally, those types of connections with people are rare and they are blessings and if you already have something like that you are so blessed it's truly and if you don't you will i mean i find that like that's the most beautiful I mean, you can just pick right back up that's a true that's a real one okay or they can pick right back up with you you're a real one to them okay so you've got long distance foreign themes and distance so what's going on here long distance okay so I've got the star hmm okay first message some of you have these really high hopes to shoot for the stars but it seems so far off some of you had these really high hopes in your past that you wanted to be, I don't know, you wanted to be president or you, you wanted to own a Fortune 500 company or you wanted to be on the television or you wanted to be famous or you want, you know, you were in a band and you wanted your band to be like the top five bands of all time, you know, like that kind of level of celebrity. And it just seemed like it was so, so far off. So some of you might be reminiscing about that time in October, it's popping up for some reason, or looking back and and <laughs> you know, if if you're all in the same age bracket as I am, <laughs> Jesus, 1987. I graduated in high school in 1987, so that's quite a long distance away, you know. So some of you might be thinking about that kind of like it's hitting you. Maybe it's hitting you. I don't know. It's not really hitting me. Because I think about it a lot. <laughs> but I think if you haven't really thought about it, it might be hitting you. Um, some of you might have a long distance relationship with someone who has a celebrity kind of status. Or you might be in that position. And um, you spend a lot of time out on the road or traveling. <clears throat> or you um, have a long distance relationship with someone. Okay. You got temperance, Aquarius and Sagittarius. So this is an energy of balance, peace, and harmony, and wishes coming true. You know, I will say some of you might be really thinking about sometime also around the holidays. Um, well, I'm going to say it, and I feel like I said it the other day, like yesterday's reading. Some of you are going to start that band up again. <laughs> The things that you did when you were younger, those dreams, that those hopes, um, you're, some of you are going to try to revive some of those again in October. And you start doing that again, whatever they were for you, you know, reviving those hopes, renewing those hopes again, you know, even though you might have it in the back of your head. Well, now it's even less likely it's going to happen because I'm older. Um, but I feel like you're going to give it a shot. And try to make that wish come true, you know, get that courage up, you know, and just kind of tell yourself, you know what, maybe I, I didn't, maybe the first time uh, didn't work out the second time, but third time's a charm, right? So maybe this would be your third, third shot at something or your, maybe your second shot, you know? So temperance is kind of like all things coming into balance, all things, divine timing, all things happening. And maybe those Anything to do with long distance, I feel like before was not meant to be at the time. 
but it looks like it's it's time that's what they're telling me it's time so whatever that thing was for you uh, sometime between october and december or at least between now going into december aries energy as well here is going to be significant leo is going to be um, the time to really start implementing some plans and ideas okay there's also someone um, that there's a long distance kind of a relationship with uh, hoping to reunite or have some type of um, they're hoping for a miracle <laughs> that you will have faith in them or that you will try to um, or that you would wish to renew a relationship with them this person sees you as like a wish come true so i feel like sometime around santa claus <laughs> christmas morning maybe or something along those lines that energy playing out and for some of you they just gave me the king of wands so that could represent aries leo sagittarius um so we'll keep that right there so those are interesting messages let's get into couple other things going on you know guys i'm really liking the random messages mixed with love and career and all that different stuff so definitely leave me a comment and let me know if you like it like this i'm really i'm really digging it Texas. oh there's the coffee cup meaning and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship so we had that yesterday maybe it was stuck in the pile but it did show up again so i guess that's still on the table for you virgo and you know what yesterday when i said coffee cup i actually said cop so i do feel like there's something to do with a cop or a police officer <laughs> um connecting with a cop so i hope it's not because you're getting a speeding ticket <laughs> but you know there might be a police officer getting a cup of coffee and some donuts or something and you guys meet up uh, i don't know all right you got arguments and separation yeah with a very popular social female that might be the gossiper so keep your eyes peeled for that virgo that would be a fire sign i think she's kind of Oh, she's starting some ish. Okay, you've got a new love start for sure. Okay, yes, yeah, some of you, there's a new love, there's definitely a new love start at a school. Now, I know for some, now school started, right? So, I don't know. Maybe you went back to school. If you've gone back to school or you have any attachment to a school in any way, I don't care if you're mopping the floors or, you know, if you're just showing up for some event, you're going to school or you're teaching there i don't know whatever it is there, there's love at a school there's love at a school I'm telling you right now a, there's love attached to a school love attached to a professor or a teacher for sure okay okay you got a financial decision some of you just a new love for learning a new school and money comes in do i want to spend it on school you know, my go some of you might like have already just started going, you went back to school, you're doing something, you made a financial decision, you're, you're really loving it, you're gonna love it. Okay, you got um, a lustful, fiery spirit coming in. I told you with that devil card, the temptation. You also have family celebrations, wedding engagement party, and a new love beginning. So there might be a wedding. Um, so there could be someone you're connected to is having a new love beginning. They're getting married or they're getting engaged. Um, family celebration or get together with a mother. Also, I'm seeing um, doing something with a mother. Maybe it's her birthday or a grandmother or somebody's kid who's a mom. Um, there's also um, time with children and animals as well celebrating uh somebody gets a puppy or gets a new dog as well or there's somebody legit having a birthday party for a pup or an animal or a cat there's definitely a celebration for a cat's birthday or a dog's birthday okay all right that's cute i love that <laughs> i would do that for my dog but i have no idea when his birthday is i'm just that horrible pet owner you, you would think i would know but nope 
I just know he's here every day and I love him. So that's enough. <laughs> every day is his birthday to me. All right, let's see. I'm going to get Chinese sign just for you. I'm going to see what your Chinese sign is. You who are listening. The person listening. What is their Chinese sign? Okay, we've got year of the monkey. If you don't know your Chinese sign, just look up the year you were born. Type in year you were born, Chinese zodiac, and that'll tell you. Okay, year of the rat. Year of the goat. Year of the ox. Year of the rooster, year of the tiger, and we have the rat again, year of the snake, and year of the rabbit. Now, if I didn't call your Chinese sign, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, okay? So just be mindful of that. Oh, I just want to, okay, I don't have those cards with me right now. All right, let's see if we can get some randoms. Okay, so we've got a February birthday showing up here. Someone that you have a connection with, they were born in February. Okay, significant. All right, let's see. Hold on a second. All right, they just told me September 3rd. September 18th, August 31st, 1981, 1965, 1979, September 10th, somebody has a birthday in July, significant to you, and someone age 40, 40. Okay, so as far as, hmm, they give me all freaking vowels. How am I going to make a name with all vowels, crazies? I don't know who's running the spirit show up there. That manager needs to be fired. I can't do shit with all vowels. All right, let's see. Okay, somebody needs a damn nap. <laughs> all right, zap, zap, zapper. Zap. Somebody, somebody calls somebody Zap. Okay. Or Zappy. Or Zap. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. We have, I did just said Kipper or Kip. Kip. Somebody lives on the Pike. P-I-K-E. Something Pike. I'm just, I'm not even going to do names. I'm just going to do whatever the words come out. Okay. Uh, Zach. Somebody KO, initial KO or knockout. Oops. And, okay. Uh, we have the initial P. So we do have a Y, like I said. PY. We have initial E. We have initial I, we have an A, and now they're giving me N, okay. Um, I just heard Ryan, or Ryan, Ryan, okay. Um, someone's name is Keen, K-E-A-N, Keen, or Kiki, somebody's kiki <laughs> Um, okay. Somebody likes the peen. I'm just going to stop. Stop. Who, who is, who's saying that? Stop. That's enough. Enough of that. Be nice. Don't say those things. I keep hearing kipper. What the hell does kipper mean? Okay. We've got ape. Oh, somebody hurt their ankle? I just said somebody hurt their ankle. Someone lives in Aspen. Someone's in Oklahoma. There's an Oklahoma. Oklahoma. What's up, my homie? Okay. Um, somebody likes them lap dances, that's for sure. Or you have a pet in your lap. Oh, okay. All right. Somebody's writing with a pen. Yeah, you know, I'm really good at Scrabble. 
let me just say, I play with, I play against my mother. My mother was the Scrabble queen against my father when I was a kid. They played all the time. No. No, she always, he always beat her, excuse me. But for some reason, my mother is super, super intelligent. Like, she is so smart. It's crazy. And I beat her at Scrabble all the time. In fact, she, I guess I'm like my dad, but she will not play with me anymore because I always beat her So some because she says I cheat, but I don't cheat. I, I just, I'm just smart. <laughs> but I can't make words here to save my life. I don't know what it is. Um, but I'll challenge you to, I'll duel you. I'll challenge you to game of Scrabble. Okay. Um, somebody lives near a lake. Okay. Or it's Lake Street. Uh, somebody's eating them damn kale chips. Who's eating those kale chips? Um, I just heard Kent. They just gave me the name Kent. Kent Street or Kent. Someone lives on Kent. And... Okay, I'm done with that. That's too much. I could sit there for days. Um, let's get a charm. Okay, they just gave me like right away. Now, we've got a scissors. Okay, so here's the question that I have to ask you. Is it a scissors or is it a pair of scissors? Because if it's a pair of scissors, then wouldn't it just be one of these is a scissor? I don't know the answer to this. But anyway, somebody might be a hairdresser, you're getting your hair cut, or you just got your hair cut, or you're doing something with the scissors. Maybe you cut fabric, or you, you do, there's, uh, scissors are significant. There could be a logo for a new business. Um, and I just heard, tell them the scissors. You left the scissors in the bathroom. Somebody left the scissors in the bathroom. These are a funky pair of scissors. They have like a, uh, sorry you guys. I can't, I'm not, see I don't look in the camera because I look at the thing here. I should start doing that. I don't know, they must have like some kind of guide. They look old fashioned, like an old fashioned scissors, pair of scissors, okay? So maybe your stylist or hair, do something with scissors. And what else? Okay, so we're getting a whole bunch of blue collar jobs here. So we've got a tool. Um, is this a drill? It's some kind of a drill. Somebody's working with a drill. I don't know, Virgo. Maybe you're building a Frankenstein or you're doing something, but there's, there's uh, somebody works with a drill. I guess that's a drill. That could be a caulk gun. So somebody might be working with the caulk. Is that a caulk gun? Uh, somebody tell me because you know there's some of these charms to be honest with you I discontinued some of them because I didn't know what the hell they were uh, but it looks like a, <laughs> I don't know what it is you tell me if it's a caulk gun or whatever huh, there's a Home Depot Lowe's I don't know you're at the hardware store or there's a connection to a hardware store somebody's something either you're looking for tool a tool or tools or everybody you've been with is a tool I don't know what the situation is here but <laughs> it's just a whole there's a bunch of tools. You got tools all around you, Virgo. Pay attention. All right, that's it. I'm done. So I'm going to leave that there, obviously. I think that was enough. I hope you enjoyed that. Do click the like button on your way out because that helps push the video up and out for everyone to just have a good laugh or see what's in store for them for the rest of the month going into October. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. There's also, YouTube is putting links now under the profile picture on YouTube. So you just gotta click on my profile picture. It's like, what is going on? It's like right there. And uh, thank you to everyone buying me coffee. Please, you guys, please, 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 please donate to my Rescue Kids Now fund campaign that I have that's also on the link right once you click there you'll it's you go to my website it says become a superhero it's become a I think it's a superhero listen if, if you want to donate like one penny I don't care anything you want to donate if you can't afford to donate anything it's for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children I don't collect any of that money none of it's for me it's what goes to the kids and the help to find the children but if you can't donate, which I understand times are tough, um, share it. Share it with your friends. Tell your friends. Say, hey, get your ass over there and throw a couple dollars that way. Share it with your rich friends. 
the more money that goes over there, we've raised a good bit. So the more money that goes over there, the more children, the more resources they have to find these children. There's so many missing. And we all know why. But I'm not going to say it here because I'm not going to be able to or I'll get banned. But there's a lot of stuff going on in the world and, you know, the babies need our help. So, yeah, if you want to be a part of that, totally awesome. You get to be a superhero for a day and or you can donate a cup of coffee and I'm going to take some of the proceeds, a good bit of those proceeds. And I'm going to put it towards the um, Rescue Kids Now Fund. Okay, so thank you for doing all you do. I appreciate it, you guys. And um, yeah, I will see you all back here as usual tomorrow. And if you like this type of reading, I'll do it again. Okay, and uh, happy birthday. If it's your birthday today, yeah, happy birthday. And I will see you, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, love you, bye. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head Because there are so many things that I left I am